Oh Where do goodness. we follow this game? We're going to kick off now. Tex against Levy David. We're live back in London again. It's week four of the FC Pro Open. Do not go anywhere. Players will be upgraded, and there will also be some shocks that appear in the group of death. It's week four, as we said. We've already seen Group A, B and C conclude before the winter break. Now it's for this group to unfold. The 1 OS does sit out in this game for those Saudi Arabian Middle Eastern fans that will be cheering his name tonight. It's looking Could for be an early start. start. Could be an early oh. goal. It's defended in the end pretty well. I mean, we've got to talk about it, Ryan. The draft format, the, the squad building rules for this week. Is it the hardest build for these players or not? You know what? I think it's actually quite lenient. I know it's, it's difficult in terms of only having two players from a specific league, but I think the, the way you can build your, squad, your squad sort of caters that quite well. You see Tex building up on the byline. He's brought in Theo Hernandez, which is a very expensive item. I believe it's over a million coins he's used of his budget, of the nine million on a left back. There was quite a few interesting selection in Texas. Draft, Ginola wins his battle. He tries to smooth Good defender. his way past Virgil van Dijk. Tex still in full control at the moment. One of the most interesting pe uh, picks in Texas team comes from the goalkeeper. I mean, goalkeepers are a, a special choice this year. A lot of pros often go for an icon selection. He has gone for Miagnan of AC Milan. A couple of step overs. There's Mbappe! Eight minutes in. Tex will look to make it deja vu for Levy David. Who Tex. Um, the first eight minutes or nine minutes or so. And, yeah, maybe I don't think I've left this half. Well, we just spoke about it there. For those who didn't see, 64 players came to London in early November. Well, they bowed out in the FC Pro Open qualifier. Six of those players from Texas drafted 9 million coin squad back. Then, feature again tonight. The same heavy hitters. There's no surprise that they feature support techs again. Those players include Mbappe, Hansen, Socrates, who is the most interesting pick, I think it's safe to say, right in the team. Kevin De Bruyne, Virgil van Dijk, and a trailblazer, Jao Cancelo. There is a team at the group stage, Jao Cancelo, available, but Tex said, look, I, I just like the trailblazer one. I think from, from what we saw when these two played earlier on in the year, Renzo said it earlier on, it was very closely contested and a 2-1 to Tex and what separated them was Hansen on the ball now with a finesse shot. I think also on that, Ryan, in the nicest possible way, Levy was 4-0 in yeah. Swiss, Tex was 4-0 in Swiss. The game had a different feel to it. It wasn't a, you know, a knockout $50,000 game. I think this is going to be very different. We said there's another game taking place and it's between Obron and Fuma. There has been a goal in this game and it's gone the way of the French player of FC Lorient. And it's no surprise that Kylian Mbappe has scored a goal there. You can see Stingray in the coach's seat tonight. They've got quite the relationship, those two players. They were teammates last year and went on to win the French E-League one. Now he's back again to support in his eyes, one of the most talented FC players in the world. Perfect start for Fuma there. Yeah, Fuma's a, a frightening player to play against. We'll see more of him later on as Tex tries to, to create an attack there, loses possession. But for Levy, going down in the first eight minutes without really seeing possession against the likes of Tex is a very difficult mountain to climb because we praise Tex on his attacking play, his skill moves. However, his defensive capabilities, in my opinion, might be one of the best not just in the scene now that we've ever seen. He dictates the game, the tempo. And of course, from our experience playing him as well, it's a tough, tough hill to climb when you go down by, by even one. Here comes Levy, teases the player a lot. There's Cafu, That's a great still nearly a million coins. Come back, oh. so easy. Oh, Levy. And just That's like nice. that, Levy will equalise the game. Mm, I jinx it, saying it's tough to come back. Levy's, yeah, that cancel there. Hopefully be able to see it in the replay with Cafu. Cancel player lock, and then that pass there. The step over, which we saw, passing it back, an easy finish, and Mbappe. And Levy gets back into the game. You could just see it, though, couldn't you, Ryan? There was a moment where Tex thought he was going to pass the ball, but just yeah. took the extra touch, and it, it made all the difference. In fairness, I thought Tex read it well in terms of the play lock cancel. He didn't get baited, but he didn't move a defender out of position. But again, when you have that many options going forward, you attack down the byline, you recycle it inwards, you're always going to find that space one way or another, and that's exactly what Levy done. You mentioned how good Tex was defensively, Ryan. 
As we know, he went unbeaten in the qualifier, went 5-0 and in the Swiss rounds. He only conceded 10 goals. He was one of the best defenders. Believe it or not, the best defender out of this group was actually Levy. Only because he did eight goals in those Swiss rounds. They did play against each other, as we said, in round five of that competition. This is a rematch between the two That's names. Long ball over yeah. the top, just offside. 25 minutes played here. Keep in mind, for those that haven't been following the FC Pro Open, nine minute halves is what we're playing. Just one and done. I think both Group stage matches, both fullbacks for Levy, I believe, are on overlap. Maybe that the left back was triggered based on the overlap. I mean, based on the triggered run. Cafu finds Valverde. This is great from Levy. He's building up perfectly well. Modric fancied a crack here from good 25 plus yards. Look at the space. You can just see it every single time the pass is on over the top. Watch the triggered run as well with Valverde. Space to recycle. Shots to come in, maybe. Hansen matches up again with Rio Ferdinand, who has been superb at the bat. One, two, three times there. He's, in my eyes, a very sensible and a smart buy. One of the few English icons, Ryan, that when I do pack them, I'm pretty happy with uh, <laughs> yeah. Rio Ferdinand. Yeah, the rest of them, yeah. It's Bobby Moore. It's going back into the next one. Bobby Charlton, you take? Oh, you, I, I mean, I packed him. <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, Ivan Cavliaro and Calvin Phillips have are you... two FC Pro items. Have I invested in any of them? Yeah, that's my question. No. Yeah, I'll be honest, I haven't either. I, I just felt it was it was too hard to call. There's a ball from Tex whipped in clearance. Do you know what the best thing about this group is, though? Texas Texas item is the only one that's worth coins right yeah. now. Every, I think he's between about 130 to 150 thousand coins as it currently stands in the market for Phillips. Everybody else in this group is about 15K, 15 to 20K. So if you are watching now and you fancy picking up some FC Pro items in the group that could be upgraded tonight, don't hang about and get spending those coins. So the controlled sprint there from Tex, utilising it with Cancelo and Davidina. Loses possession, though. Um, good defending from Levy. I think he's come into this game, Levy, a lot more after conceding. I thought maybe in those games when you play against Tex, it's very easy to, to lose your head and... The game plan goes out the window, but he's done well to keep composure. Created a few more chances. Could argue that he potentially could even score another. Well, a quick update across the row. We heard that Fuma was leading by a goal to nil. There's been a goal back in that for Obram. Top four back to back in the last two world finals. One of the most consistent players in this scene. Finds a way back into the tie, an important goal for him. Yeah, very important. I'll be honest, I think Obram, both Obram and Fuma are underrated in the scene. I think the community or the, or the pro players and those who are very familiar with the community, they know how good they are, but the general consensus is you'd probably favour Tex and Levy on paper. I just think in the nicest way to Obron as well, superb player, great guy as well off the, uh, off the pitch. He has won the e Serie A, but he hasn't won a big international tournament in terms of lifting silverware, really being seen on the big stage. Yes, he's been in the conversation with top fours, as we said in those world finals. Good runs in tournaments such as the Champions League as well. Got a top six there. I just think he's missing a he's missing the trophy, Ryan. You can maybe even argue the same for Levy David. He is a winner, runner up in the the nation's finals in the summer. Yes, he was a bat about European champion during the online era, competitive. FC action. But where maybe it wasn't offline and there wasn't a a Champs Cup level of land victory, which comes of all the social media and all the, the backing with it. Maybe just yeah. didn't do oh, he's turned back. as much for the Dutch player, not taking anything away from him because he did win that EA Sports Cup last year as well in a 2v2 format with Oli Lito. And has had some fine form in a series of online cups. Building up into this one. Last chance, really, before we go into half time. It is 1 1 in our opening game here in Group D. Tex did take the early lead. With Mbappe, and it was Levy. We could also find the back of the net. Last attack. The same score. Added time of 1 minute. 30 seconds has already been Look played. At Theo. Look at Theo. He's, he's off. But is he past Cafu? 
I don't think so. Back to the goalkeeper. That should do us for the first half here. Let's see if we can catch some closing stages between Fuma and Oberon. Well, we've just got a quick second or two. Uh, that's going to be, I mean, stay watching, stay listening, and I'm sure you'll find out what that'll be as the night unfolds. Back to Tex against Levy. One more on the scoreline here, as we said, opening game. I mean, if both games were to be a draw, Ryan, it would certainly shake things up. Yeah, um, it wouldn't surprise me. As we said, we saw them already 2-1, Tex winning in the Swiss format. And, oh, am I going to jinx it? I have, wow. I'm shocked that went in. I'll be honest, I'm surprised that went in. It could have been blocked, it could have been saved. But Levy takes the lead right on cue, as we were talking about potential goal score. We're going to see a replay of it. Modric into Valverde, a driven pass. Um, but, uh, you know what? That might be the goalkeeper selection there, you know? Yeah. And draw, which it definitely still could, but they're so evenly matched yeah. that I, but Levy turned it up. After that first goal, it's oh, like yeah, he, he, he needed that fire under him to get back into this game. Yeah, the thing is with these two, when they play, they played multiple times, whether it's in tournaments or online cups or just practicing. So in terms of the play style, there's sort of a familiarity there. And also they know that when one person takes the lead, that player is more often than not going to slow the pace down, dictate the tempo. It turns into... There are even like a snooze fest. There's not going to be too many chances either way. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty certain if, if Levy keeps possession, it will get possession. He's going to be trying to keep it. That's the ball over the top there. So Cartis, maybe that's why he's in the team, the height in the box. I think on, on top of that as well, Casey, look, in, in terms of competitive FC this year, Texas hasn't lost the game yet still. 7-0. He's literally undefeated. He's gone through everyone, including his own teammate. You know how hard that must be? Yeah. And so he's done it all. And, and I talked to him backstage. He was ready for this competition, and he's confident, too. So this is a surprising uh, first game for him. We see you've been able to, to interview and speak to a lot of the players, um, Casey. Who would you say, based on their, their approaches coming into this, in terms of confidence, would you say Tex is the most confident, or have you spoken to Levy or no. Interesting one, Fuma. I was talking to him backstage. I think he's a little bit underrated of a player. Yep, but he's agreed. like, I feel amazing going into this. I'm confident. I'm ready to go. Yeah, Stingray said as well, he's coming in in a, in a rich vein of form, practicing well. As Stingray said, word for word, smashing everybody. So if Fuma manages to keep that form into today, he'll definitely have a great chance of finishing top two. A great ball over the top there from Tex. Speaking of Tex, looking to find a way through. There's the step overs oh. from Ginola again. It's another block of the bat from Virgil van Dijk. Good defending. He could have easily stepped in there and then pressed um, circle there to lunge, but he was composed. I think if you look at Fuma, what? When he came through the qualifiers and the games he played, he beat Nicholas. He stopped Nicholas yep. from getting to this tournament. Big 5 3 win in the knockout stages on his way to qualifying for this one. Three times E League One winner as well. Has been the forefront of French. Competitive FC over the last couple of years. There's Socrates again. Must well, be the interesting pick for. Look at him again. Tex. He's going to continue his run all on the left hand side. That's a case of working into the ball. Great feet. There's the one more pass. Hansen on the finesse. And it's matched up with a great save from Schmeichel. Quick corner to come in. Tex trailing two goals to one on the volley, maybe. At the back post for Van Dijk, he'll head it back across. Very brave hey. and very composed from Levy just yeah. to point himself out of that. Fair enough. That composure there, wow. Fair play, Levy. I think she's in. She's in. There is two players, Casey, that no surprise every player has gone for throughout this drafting process. Four million coins of the investment, Mbappe and Ginola. They're in every single draft. Levy! Proving why! See, Ginola strikes again. I mean, I think that he could be the MVP of this entire tournament today. I'd like to see a total at the end of the day, how many goals he has for everyone. He sort of feels like a bit of a safe bet as well, right? doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I feel as if because he links to Mbappe as well, and you can only get two players from the same league, it's sort of a given that you'd probably choose him and Mbappe to link together, get a better chemistry on Mbappe as well, which is always a, a priority when building the squad. It's given away from Tex. Would we say that's the most important league, would you say, in this, this drafting restrictions? Casey, would you say League One tops the Premier League, which feels weird to say, but if we're talking about Mbappe and Ginola, it sort of is. I think so. When you're talking about attackers, you need people to come in and score goals. And when two of them are from the same league, you have to show how important they are. 
Thought it was play over the top there. Pause queued as well. 20 minutes left to go. Fernandez just every time. I think maybe why Texas has chosen this year, obviously three star or four star skill moves compared to the, the regular item in game has three stars. So maybe that could help offensively as well, giving away possession. Anson could have a gift here. Mbappe, there's a one more pass. If he needs it, he doesn't. It was brave to go on his own with Mbappe. But you cannot forget how important the French forward is every time it ricocheted off his chest. He knew nothing about that one, but it was here. There could have been a moment where an extra pass could have been played, but Text didn't panic. Big B has been playing his sweaty 16 on what? Thursday night, he's been playing online cups too. There's yep. just so much opportunity for him to get practice in. Yeah, absolutely. As you said, he's, he's put in practice to perfection so far. Again, though, it, that goal stems from a mistake. And in my opinion, those are the worst goals to concede in these moments, especially when the clock's ticking down. You're, you're up by two. We know the cliche statement, two goals are the most dangerous leads to hold. But when you give away a goal that easily from a mistake, it's tough. It is very, very tough to concede. Dest off the bench in that left back. He was uh, one of those potential super subs. I did see featuring a couple of these drafted squads. The There's space. De Bruyne. Did he fancy a shot? No, we tried to punch it into the feet of Ginola. Seeing a lot of possession gifted away by Levy there, which is very unlike him. Musiala's in here. Musiala waiting for a pass. There's Ginola. Does he need one more? Back to Mbappe. Looks for the step over exit. Teo Hernandez is there, running as far as Valverde on the opposite side. Levy still looking for a way through. He had that pass, the driven pass into Neymar. I don't think the space he expected to have that much time. What a turn, Mbappe, somehow. Pen. Yep. Oh, he goes down! Further down into the book. And Tex, potentially on the receiving end of a 4-2 score. And upstairs, Modric oh, saves it! Bobby Agnan. Huge save from the French goalkeeper to keep the game alive. And this is where Tex can go down the other end and cause some mischief. This, this game sort of reminds me of that non nice I was just about to say that. Genuinely, the tackle as well was almost the same at the same moment here. This could give Tex the, the mental fortitude to push on. He's just saved the penalty. It's, honestly, if there's one way for you to get back into the game, this is a perfect moment. Ten minutes left to go. This is giving me Didi flashbacks. Hansen. There's the box. There's Tex. It's a gift. It's oh, the oh my Michael. God. What? With a huge save. Oh my still goodness. nine minutes left on the clock here. Tech still trails three goals to back two. Towards the back post. Good keeper oh, movement. Ferdinand could have been from zero to hero. Wow. That Quite movement literally. there, not from the save, I mean from the corner there. The, the save, I'm not sure if there was any goalkeeper movement, but wow, you'd expect that to hit the back of the net and that would have been one way to equalise, but wow, that is... I'm lost for words. My heart is beating so fast right now. Also, saving a pen is the oh, best so thing hard, to give right? you. Yes, but it's also the biggest confidence boost that you could ever get, and it can shift momentum exactly. just like that. Yep, agreed. Well, you saw from Tex there, did he score it on? Would have been the perfect counter attack. Tex is still not done here. Last five minutes. All right, guys, I have to jet out. Enjoy the rest of the match. Thank you, Casey. She'll be back throughout tonight. That's on. That's on. It's on. on. Oh, there could have been a penalty shout. Very quickly, let's jump across. There's been a goal in the other game. Up run against Fuma. Which way has that goal gone? It's an equaliser mm. for the Italian. The next scene in Hellas Verona. Coach Hollywood by his side as always. As we jump back to this one, which is going to finish just before. Keep in mind, if it does end as a draw, it'll be a point a piece and we will be moving on to round two. Oh, that's so unlucky. Of group play, Modric does get four to there to win that ball back. Good turn. Now this is where Levy can be really smart. Does he need to fall into the trap of scoring another goal? No, he doesn't. Wins a... Very coolly, let's jump back. I think it's another pen. Oh, no! It's Rio. Rio, you could be going off the pitch here. Oh, that one, that one's... Yeah, you can't do much about Levy that Levy with a chance to go one goal to the good, he will! And it looks like Team Hullet after what was not a week to remember last week in the FC Pro Open of world champion Manny Bashaw will be off on the right foot tonight. That stem there from the um, the McGeady cancel there, the R1 controlled sprint. Does he press tackle? I think so. Mm. 
it's still it's a penalty. Don't get it, don't get me wrong. And then Tex Dane down the middle with Levy putting it top left corner. Four goals to two. He's made that penalty count this time. And it's almost certain, Brandon, where guaranteed, almost guaranteed, I should say, it is Levy three points to the good after the first set of fixtures. It's a great start. Full time results are coming. We've just added time for two minutes on the clock. But from 1 0 down, and what was a really aggressive start in this game, Ryan from Tex, to win 4 2, to weather the storm from Tex. Huge three points in what is such a difficult group. Absolutely. Three points can go a long way. I believe Casey said it as well. I would predict there to be a lot of points shared in this group. But that is the end of the game. Levy victorious, four goals to two.